Peregrine Falcons reporting. Preparations for attack complete. Sparrow's here. We've succeeded in outflanking the enemy base. We're all set. Okay, the mission begins now. Target one, capture Morton. Target two, capture Ogma. Target three, secure the enemy base. That's it. Attack! Yes, sir. Here we go! Let's ventilate some bad guys. This is quite a research lab. My ace in the hole. If it weren't for things, you never would have seen this. A thousand pardons, Leader. But had you entrusted us with this research from the start, things wouldn't have come to this. Put a sock in it, Ogma. A civilian organization with a little advanced technology, and it all goes to your head. I can get out of a situation like this without your help. Look! This is Alator. This is all of Alator. As long as I possess this, I will not know defeat! <laughs> Dare I imagine I've come this close. But with this... Mission 9! Start! Heading machine gun!
machine gun. Sniper rifle.
machine gun. Thank you. Heavy machine, heavy machine gun. Thank you. The jig's up, Morty. Be a good demon and surrender. Huh? How did you get past my forces? You underestimate us way too much. What is this? This is Alator. Aqua, can you open this door? It's been ten years since I found this, and I haven't been able to open that door. Use your vaunted technology and open that door. If I do open the door, what good will it do? Do you know if something's inside? I'll just open the damn thing. Even if the end of the world is in there, just do it. How should I know? It's better than being taken by those clowns. Very well. But you'll have to buy me a little time. What are they diddling around with? Watching them squirm like that is so painful. Morden, give up your plans for world conquest. With a power like this at my fingertips, how can I abandon my ambitions? That's why you government army boobs are so incompetent. What are you talking about? I discovered the power of the Alator ten years ago. I found it when I was still a general of the government forces. When I came to examine the site for an army base here at the South Pole, then... He's trying to buy time. Everyone, attack! Take Morton down! But hold on! Hold on there, freaks! You should listen to what I have to say! You can finish your stories from behind bars. I don't listen to yarn spun by two-bit criminals! You... Alan! <laughs> Come on, you clowns! I'll make mincemeat out of you!
Sniper Rifle. Double Machine Gun. other squads back here. Let's go! What are you going to do? Just who do you think I am? I know who you are. The Devil Reborn, General Morden. The pathetic worm who runs a monk, trying to reach the piddling goal of world conquest. You? You intend to betray me? You intended to take this Alator from me from the start, didn't you? Saying I will steal it is a mistake. What? You pathetic fool. You still don't get it. Don't you understand why we know the Alator so well? And why we can knew it was ours to begin with? We knew you had found our lost Alator. And we joined forces with you simply to get it back. Looks like things are getting hairy. What do we do, Major? We're still on our mission. Take those two down. What now? Who are these freaks? It will take a little more time to act. May I have some quiet? Oh, I'm so sorry to disturb you. Do you think your goons are gonna stop us? I could use a bit more firepower to stop you. But what about your comrades waiting outside? Damn. Hostages. You're one sneaky dude. If you'll just hang back, I will help. Resistance is futile. In the meantime, let me entertain you with a story until the preparations for my magnificent show are finished. What? A story? You gotta be kidding. Why not? I've got a few questions for him anyway. And he does seem to have the advantage. Just who are you? Sir May Ogma is no mere corporation, is it? Right to the crux of it. You're such a hasty little girl, aren't you? Did you expect me to start talking about the weather? Very well. Let me tell you, we are the Tuatha de Danon. We live in an age 300 million years in the past. So that makes you the mysterious ancients who built an advanced civilization before the birth of humankind. You get right to the point, don't you? But by and large, you're correct. You're quite a wise young lady. Gift for that? Well, aren't we the lucky one? I suppose to historians, that would be the world of 300 million years ago. That's why we're here now. To bring back the historical information gathering device we placed here 300 million years ago. Back to our world of the past. I see. You wanted to study the history of war. And that's why you incited Morden to carry out his coup. Close. But no nice parting gift. In the span of these 300 million years, we searched for the information gathering device we lost. Consequently, war broke out. But the subject of our research is not such piddling events as war, you know. The necessary information for us 
is your evolution of 300 million years, from primitive to intelligent life, and the history of intelligent life that led to the flowering of civilization. Do you understand? Hold on! I understand that you came back to recover the history information, whatever the ancients placed here 300 million years ago. But that's a little strange. How can you say that this is the high point of our civilization? We may be able to develop a better civilization, or we may destroy ourselves. You could even say your primitive life reaching a state of intelligence was just a coincidence. It seems you already knew how things would turn out before you began your historical research. Naturally, we pretty much foresaw the shape of things to come. We've repeated this research hundreds of times before. What are you saying? Our research begins with a single trigger we created in the world 300 million years ago. And along with that span of time begun by that event, we also cause many circumstances and guide history toward an end we desire. It's like we plant a seed to grow a tree of history. Then we have the information gathering device observe that tree, which takes 300 million years to grow. And when the observation ends, we return the world to the way it was 300 million years ago, plant a new seed, and begin observations again. Return the world to the way it was? You mean... You mean you're gonna erase our history? That's pretty much how it goes. No, no way! I don't want to be erased! Don't worry, my lady. It's a painless procedure, and we've recorded the 300 million year span of history to every detail. That's not what we're worried about. Get serious, Agma. Where do you get off pruning the branches of our history? That's it, Major. Give him a good tongue lashing. The history we've come to build, and the lives of all the people. Not only people, but 300 million years of all life. Just what do you think that is? Your views of life, your curious philosophy, intrigues me. Such a narrow point of view. That is the limit of your capabilities. Well, it looks like I'm all set. As I promised, I'll show you something really amazing. Our information gathering device, Lucas. Feast your eyes on the sight that will bring about the end of history. Wait! This time, things have turned out to be quite interesting. It was a pleasure meeting you all in the end. I bid you a fond farewell. You're great. 